Hey guys, so I can't quite believe I'm filming this video today because it's quite scary. Um, but today's video is going to be what is in my hospital bag for having a baby. Crap, I'm having a baby. It's got to that point where it's close enough that I've packed my hospital bag in case anything goes wrong. If you guys don't follow my um, updates, all like baby updates over on my vlog and you want to know more about all of that stuff um, and my story of like being pregnant and stuff, head over there and watch those. Um, I'm actually a bit more organised than some in the respect that I actually have a date. Um, I'm actually booked in to have a cesarean section. Um, so I have a date. I'm not going to share the date just in case something happens. I might go into labour early. It might not happen on the day because an emergency might come in. But I do have a date like scheduled in. I've spoken about this more in like my baby update video but that kind of, um, I find that quite comforting in a way that I know the date, but obviously it's quite a scary procedure to go through. Anyway, if you want to know more about that, head over and check out my, I think it's like my eight months pregnancy update that I talk about it. So um, go over and check that out if you want to. Um, kind of mixed emotions about it, and hence the contents of my hospital bag may be a bit different to what some other people have, because um, if you're obviously planning for a natural labour, you're in hospital a lot less time, um, hopefully. Again, labour is one of those funny things, I feel like I, I watch all of these bag, all of these like what's in my bag videos, and I'm like, nobody really knows what's going to happen until you get there, so even if you do have a plan, you have a birth plan or whatever, and you want this type of birth and that and that, even if you're having a c-section, you might end up being in there for a week or three days, you just don't know. So. I've packed more than you would expect, so that is why if you guys have had um, a natural birth and you're like, oh my god, you don't need all that stuff, you're only going to be in there for like the day or one night or whatever, I probably am going to be in there for like three nights. Um, and that's if nothing goes wrong, so I might be even there for longer. So anyway, this is the bag that I'm taking with me. It is a wheelie bag. And I feel like a lot of people take like duffel bags as hospital bags. And I don't know why. If there is a specific reason for this, guys, tell me. But I think it'll be easier to take a wheelie bag. I've got a wheelie bag for me and a wheelie bag for baby. Obviously, they're a little bit bigger. Um, but in terms of like, I don't know, maybe like less room to store them or whatever. But in terms of practicality, like I, like, I mean, Mike can carry them. But in terms of like, it's just easier to wheel them around. Anyway, so this bag is from Mulberry. I've had it for years um <laughs> mike actually bought this for me it's probably like three years ago for christmas um and i love it i use it all the time it's just my kind of day-to-day -day, like suitcase my like overnight suitcase and it has a front pocket in the front pocket i'm probably going to pack more stuff than this but obviously i'm a few weeks away now from having a baby so in terms of like i'll probably put my wallet and my obviously my maternity notes and um my phone and things like that will be in there, but for the moment they're not in there because I need them. Um, but I do have a little notebook. This was a recommendation from my sister. She said take a little notebook and a pen because your head's all over the shop when you've had a baby. It's so overwhelming and it's good to write down like what time they feed, how long they feed for, like which boob they're feeding on and um, when they poo and when they wee and things like that so that you can remember and you can keep track of it as opposed to um, not knowing the nurse is coming in and asking you like, so when did she last have a nappy change your life? I don't remember. Um, I've also got headphones for listening to music if I want to, like if it's night time and I can't sleep or whatever. Probably just the one ear, obviously. Um, but, you know, just in case. I might not use them. And then inside, I have, there's quite a lot of like different zip pockets. In this internal zip pocket here, I have like maternity pads um, and breast pads and things like that. So like sanitary goods real sexy. So I'm just going to talk you through everything that is in here. It's all kind of like piled up on my lap. So um, <laughs> it's not the most ideal situation. There's not that much room on my lap right now because of the bump. But the first thing I've got in here is a lightweight dressing gown. This one is actually from um, Mums and Papas and they sent it to me. It's, I think they've just launched it. It's basically like their collaboration with uh, Bloom and Blossom and it's just like really lightweight. I don't know how much I'll use a dressing gown in hospital. Um, a lot of people say take them just so that you don't have to be like walking around just in your nightshirt or your pyjamas or whatever. Um, but it's usually quite hot so we'll see, we'll see. I don't know how much I'll use it. Anyway, and then the other stuff I've got in here, I've got some clothes. So I've got um, my kind of going home outfit as it were. Definitely not as glamorous as um, 
the baby's going home outfit. <laughs> Um, which I can't remember if I've said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna do like a baby's bag. If you guys wanna see that, that will go up after this video, the baby's, what's in my baby's bag. Um, this is the problem with baby brain, you literally forget. I, I, I probably told you this at the beginning of the video, but I've forgotten. Um, so for going home, I've just got some black leggings, maternity ones, I've got a black t-shirt. This is actually from Rebecca Minkoff, it's non-maternity, but it's like big and it's got slits at the side, so I've been wearing it all the way through. Um, and also a jumper, which is from All Saints, which again, I've been wearing all the way through. Um, again, I'll probably have like my coat and my trainers that I came into hospital wearing that I will wear. Um, and I'll wear a similar kind of outfit to go into hospital. So like trainers, probably my maternity jeans and like a black jumper or something like that. I'll probably just keep it mainly black. Um, just for practicality reasons really and everything goes then as well and it's just like easy. Um, I also will have some more clothes in here but they're going to be clothes that I'm going to be wearing in the run up to having a baby so I didn't want to pack them like obviously my hostel bag is packed now just in case something happens out of the blue and I have to go into hostel in an emergency. So I'll probably put them in like a few days before we go in. If everything goes to schedule I'll pop them in but it's basically my Envy de Frey's like um loungewear set so like the joggers and the cardigan and stuff just because I don't know if I'll wear them in hospital or on the way home or whatever but just I wanted to have that because it's really really comfy and I know it's like not going to be irritating to wear most of the other like stuff that I've got is night shirts so I don't have like a waistband um obviously something you have to think about a bit more if you have a section as opposed to normal labor because you will have like a cut in your tummy so yeah I've also got a couple of um maternity bras in there already again I might take another one so that I have a fresh one every day because that would be nice but at the moment there's only two because I'm still wearing them um I also have three pairs of socks I don't know if, how much I wear these because um again I don't know how much I wear them because I also have slippers so I'm like will I wear socks I quite like wearing socks in bed so I might wear socks when I'm in hospital I don't know I've never had a big operation before and stayed in hospital for an extended period of time so um, I guess, yeah, I'm just like packing for all eventualities there. I've got slippers. These are just like the Primark, um, like three pound slippers that you can just chuck in the washing machine. Um, again, you don't really want to be barefoot in hospital, do you? It's a bit gross. And the socks are just like sports socks, like Primark sports socks. Then I have a whole lot of real sexy underwear. This was on recommendation from my sister. They do say you can take like disposable underwear, um, which... Uh, like I guess you can do if you want my sister just said buy some massive pants like these are like the biggest pants that Primark do in terms of like the full brief full coverage um and in the biggest size I think that they do I think they're extra large or extra extra large um but basically she was like buy black pants from Primark and then you can just throw them away or wash them if you want and use them for the next time you have a baby but um she was like this but disposable ones aren't like great Anyway, so let's not talk too much about that. But I've got a whole lot of really sexy, massive black pants. Um, yep, yeah, oh joy. I've also got, this is actually the bag that came with my um, nappy bag from Gem and B. But I just thought this would be really useful because it's quite big to use as a laundry bag. Just to throw any like dirty or like just worn laundry in there just to be easy. So that it's not like mixing up with the clean stuff in my bag and just have it like on the back of I don't know, the door or the nightstand or whatever. And I can just put my dirty stuff in there and then Mike can take it home. That was my thought anyway. So yeah, laundry bag, or it might end up not being used, but either way, it's pretty small. I've got that. And then I also have, oh, I have my phone charger, obviously. I have a spare one of these in here because I have quite a lot of phone chargers. I'm also gonna be taking my camera. I'm probably gonna be taking my camera and filming on now, which is my 5D from Canon, and an extra battery for that. But I'm not obviously gonna pack that again until the last minute because I use it all the time for filming. So, um, and in terms of other stuff like maternity notes, all that is obviously gonna go in here as well. But again, that at the moment is in my handbag because I have to take it to my appointments. Um, then I have three different um, wash bags. This seems weird, but for me it kind of makes sense because I've got my main wash bag for like kind of taking to the bathroom, taking to the shower. Then I have a little makeup bag um, and I have my skincare separately because I think I'll probably end up doing that potentially in bed. Obviously I'm not gonna be very mobile having just potentially had an operation. So um, I've got like a separate little skincare thing to keep by my bed, which I thought maybe a good idea. We shall see. So in here, I've got all of my kind of bathroom essentials. Um, 
And it's actually not that big. Like, I quite like this makeup bag. It's from um, Urban Outfitters. And I've got... Um, I'll just pick things out and tell you. I've got dry shampoo in here because in case my hair is gross and I don't want to wash it. Um, I have proper shampoo and conditioner. These are mini versions of the Kiehl's Amino Acid. I've actually used these, they're pretty much empty, but if I do wash my hair, I'm guessing I'll only wash my hair once. So I can just use the rest of these and then throw them away because there's probably like one use left in them. Um, and they're like my favorite in terms of shampoo and conditioner. I was like, perfect, let's take those with me. I also have a um, leave-in conditioner. This is the Alterna Caviar CC Cream um, 10 in one complete correction leave-in hair perfecter. Um, I get super, super knotty hair and like I don't want to be struggling brushing my hair um, after just having had a baby. So I was like, I'll take some leave-in conditioner. Then I have a hairbrush. Um, I've got the foldable wet brush which is almost as good as their kind of like full size one. It also has a mirror on the inside, which I thought might be quite useful if I'm brushing my hair in bed or whatever. Um, I have a two pack of new toothbrushes. I didn't want to take my electric toothbrush into hospital just because, you know, hospitals are a place where there's a lot of ill people and germs and things like that. So I'll probably just throw these away after having them in hospital. I've got one for me and one for Mike, um, along with a miniature um, toothpaste. <laughs> my brain um, and uh, simple wipes a mini pack of simple wipes like I said I've got skincare that I'll probably use but just in case wipes you can't go wrong with nail file in case I've got a sharp jaggedy nail my nails break all the time they're really brittle so I'm guessing you don't want sharp nails with a baby so I've got a nail file uh, mini shower gel freshening up and then I've also got a deodorant this is the Mitchum unscented roll-on deodorant yeah I thought that would be good um, as opposed to having scented one um, and then hair bands if I want to tie my hair up and some gum in case my breath smells and I don't have time to get to the bathroom to brush my teeth um, So yeah, that's like my wash bag and then I also have Put those back later. I also have this little cube which is from La Mer Super fancy and I know like this will make me look really over the top But I actually got sent this from the girls at La Mer when they found out I was pregnant for my hospital bag and I was like this is such a treat because I don't usually use La Mer skincare, it's super expensive. I have used a few bits before and I really like it and my skin gets on with it so I'm not gonna like have a crazy reaction to it in hospital, hopefully, that would be bad. Um, but I just thought this would be perfect for having by my bed so that if, you know, I want to kind of wash my face but I can't get out of bed yet or, you know, just freshen up or take makeup off or put makeup on or something, it'd just be good to have this by my bed, it's tiny and it has like everything in it. So I've got um, some cotton pads in here. I've got some lip balm, a moisturizer, a micellar water, an eye cream, and then like a toner in here. So there's like a whole skincare set in like a tiny little package. If I don't use it, it's not like I'm wasting a huge amount of space in my bag, but if I do use it, it'll be a nice treat. And then I also have um, my little makeup bag. This is an Anya Hindmarch one that I've had for ages, but it's such a good like handbag size makeup bag. And I thought it would be good for taking in my hospital bag because it's small, but I've managed to fit basically like a full face of makeup in here. I don't know what I'll use. Um, I, I, part of me thinks, because I'm going to be in there for quite a long time, I probably will use quite a lot of it. And you take a lot of photos when you have a baby, don't you? I feel like I'll have a lot of photos taken with like me and the baby, me and my family, like me, Mike and the baby, like all that kind of stuff. So I do have like a fair amount in here. I have my Fenty Beauty powder with the puff, so I don't have a brush for it, but I just have the puff. I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream in a mini size. This is really good because you can just apply it with your fingers, but it still has decent coverage. Most of the stuff I've picked out is things that you can apply like with your fingers or like you don't need a whole lot of brushes or whatever to, to use it. Um, and then I also have, I thought I had, oh yeah, I do have a concealer. I have the Clay de Peau, um Cream Concealer, which again is a stick. I then have um, a cream blush from Kiko, which is just like a little like, whatever blush if I want to use it. I have a tinted lip balm from Clarins. I've got a couple of eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows from Armani that I use a lot that are just like, if I want to, I doubt I will use eyeshadow, but they fit it in the bag and I just threw them in. I've got the Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder mascara because this stuff stays on. It's almost like waterproof, but it's easier to take off. So it stays on really well. Um, chances are I'll be crying a bit. So <laughs> I wanted to have that. Then I have my eyebrow pencil for Ilo in there and I've got, a double-ended eyeliner from um, 
I say Lauder, so it has nude on one end and black on the other. So if I want to like brighten up my eyes, if I've got red eyes or whatever, looking horrendous after having an op, um, I can use that. I have a little eyeshadow brush for the eyeshadows. And then I also have um, tweezers, just in case I need them. Probably not gonna be plucking my eyebrows, but I just thought it might be quite useful to have tweezers. Um, and then I have a little spoolie as well for um, brushing my eyebrows like if I wanna do my eyebrows. And then I have some cotton buds too. So all of that fits in this tiny makeup bag. And I thought, I'm just gonna take it. Probs won't wear a full face of makeup, but if I want to, the option is there. Then I have three nighties in here. I think I'm probably gonna add one more just in case, um, because there's space and also just cause I want to. The first two are from Primark. Um, these are ones that I've actually worn them a couple of times and now they're like in my bag ready to go but these are I think they were eight pounds each and they are so cozy they're like flannel check um night shirts they're in size extra large which fits me really well at the moment being like eight and a half months pregnant and so I think they'll be really good for like post baby because they're extra large also they're a bit longer so I would normally buy like a small in Primark and they'd be a bit shorter because I don't know why they do that because I feel like if you're like slim and tall or big and tall like what like you can be both, or you can be small and big, or small and small. Small, small, and, anyway, it doesn't matter what height you are, my point is, why do they make them longer, it's weird. Um, I get it if, you're ha if you've got a baby bump, because it helps, because obviously it like, pushes it out, and then it makes the front. My point is, night shirts, if you buy them in a smaller size, are too short when you have a baby bump. Um, whereas these are not too short. So anyway, these are eight quid each, super cozy. Also in like a festive check, She's gonna be born around Christmas time. I feel like nice and cozy and wintry. They're not too thick, so they're not gonna to be too, too hot. Also, in terms of like, obviously having had an op, if you're bleeding or if you're whatever, things get messy, it's a dark color. That was like my main kind of priority. So I've got the dark navy one um, in color choice. <laughs> and I've got a dark red or a red one with um, like blue check, which is exactly the same, just extra large Primark night shirt. And then I also have this one, which is a, this was actually from TK Maxx, I think. This is, again, size extra large from um, a company called Wisteria Lane, but it was in TK Maxx's navy with stars on it. A little bit more lightweight, so if it's really hot, I have that one. And then I have um, one more from ASOS, I think, that I'm going to chuck in there. Just so that I have extra options to wear if anything happens to one of them. Um, that is it for what's in there at the moment. There's definitely a few things missing having looked through it. I want to take in body lotion. Everybody says um, start moisturising as soon as the baby is out as well. Your tummy, obviously like upper tummy, not a little bit. Um, but um, because of stretch marks, because that's when you also get stretch marks when everything starts going back in. So I'll take a little pot of moisturiser. I need to get a travel one because I don't want to take a massive one. Um, and then, like I said, all the last minute bits and bobs are going in as well. I feel like this has been the waffliest video in the whole world. And I apologise for that if it's been really boring. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want to see what's in my baby's bag, then come back. Um, it, I'm trying to think. I don't know my schedule off by heart in terms of like when it's going up. But it'll be up in a couple of days. So come back to see that. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.